Guys, we gotta stop making this mistake, all right? I see a lot of people getting scammed on the internet because they think they're about to buy some really nice puppy that seems overly valued for a very low price and they fall for that scam. Right now, I'm gonna show you how to not get scammed when you're buying a puppy online. It almost happened to me. And right now, I'm gonna give you some steps to take before you start sending your money off to a random person and you think your puppy's coming home. So keep watching. Now quick, I'm gonna need you to not send the money through Cash App, through Zelle, through PayPal to that random person that you think is gonna ship you off a puppy. Now I wanted to give you guys a little bit of facts regarding to online shopping for pets, such as American Bullies, for example, since they're such high priced. Did you know the Better Business Bureau scam tracker saw US and Canada puppy scam complaints hit 337 in November of 2020. That more than quadrupled the number for November 2019. So I'm telling you right now, it's happening a lot more in 2021. And I see it in some of these groups that I'm in. I'm in Colorado and I see a lot of these Colorado groups, a lot of people that are scammers. Now payments that are typically made with payment apps or prepaid debit cards, which can be difficult or impossible to get refunded. So I'm telling you right now, before you send that money, you need to do some research. Now here's just a couple things that you could think of so you don't get scammed if you're looking for a new dog. You should always look up social media channels and run a legit check on these breeders. If you could just go into the groups that you're in, you could post some guy's name or wherever you're trying to buy from and do a legit check. Also that means research their social medias. I'm more than sure if you're buying from a kennel, they have some kind of kennel name. And let me tell you right now, if you're running a dog breeding program, you're gonna promote that thing everywhere. And that's if you're legit. So that's why I'm telling you, do some research and you'll be able to know right away. You can always adopt from a shelter. Most of the time when a dog is taken to a shelter, it's not because of behavioral issues, it's just because the owner can't handle those guys. Another thing you should do is you should meet the person in state. Don't go looking out of state for new puppies, you know, that's like five states away from you and you think someone's gonna ship to you. Meet the pet in person and maybe you wanna consider an adult if it's not something that you're too picky with, you'll be able to see their personality a lot more easier. You can also contact a rescue group for the breed you want. There's a lot of good groups out there that are helping dogs find new homes. You should always know the typical prices and avoid deeply discounted or free pets. I see this all the time. They have some kind of Merle American bully and they're saying, oh, it's going for $800. And they're telling them, hey, send me $800 in cash out right now. Put down a deposit or put down 200 down right now and then we're gonna ship off the puppy. Don't do that. If you see a very discounted puppy, if it's too good to be true, it's not true. That's what I'm saying. You always wanna visit the breeder and ask to meet the mother and the dad of the puppy that you are trying to buy. And always expect the breeder to ask you questions because reputable breeders, they want to know the pets that they sell will be treated well with the new owners and what to expect. That is something that a real breeding program does and they should be asking questions as well. And if you're buying a puppy with papers, you should always ask for proof of the papers. Always ask for a health test of the dog you were purchasing. You must look at the dog in person, nothing just over the internet. I know it's kind of sketchy to meet some people, but you don't want to go and send your money to a stranger over the internet that you've never met. It's a lot better to meet the breeder, maybe take a friend with you so you're safe, and you want to make sure that you're able to communicate with this person and see the puppy in person. I've also came to the realization that you should never trust shipping companies that come out of the blue or if they refer someone to you. You need to do your own research when it comes to shipping a puppy. A lot of these people say, yeah, I'll ship the puppy. Maybe they might actually pick up the real puppy and take them with them or they could take your money and act like they're going to ship you a puppy. So that's why you should do your research on the shipping companies as well. Always ask for live pictures. What I like to do is I say, put the date inside the picture with the puppy and the time. That's a good way to show that that is real time. You also wanna monitor the dog to make sure they're walking properly. Look out for kink tails, kennel cough, parvo, skin problems, east-west feet or the run of the litter. And also something you need to watch out for is breeders that are hanging papers. I'm gonna explain it to you really briefly. 
Hanging papers is falsifying information on the registration papers. There's a lot of people creating fake registration papers in hopes of snatching a higher price for their puppy. A lot of these papers boost the value in the dog and they're able to charge a better price. So be careful of breeders that are hanging papers. I know it's a frustrating process for anyone trying to keep it healthy and pure lines. It is almost impossible to prevent without the use of DNA. Now what to do if you suspect a breeder of hanging papers. Ask for DNA testing. This is industry standard. You gotta ask for the DNA test. Another helpful tip is to check directly with the registry to ensure all the information lines up and is accurate on the paper, okay? That's another way to check. There's a lot of sketchy stuff going on and it's not just the American bully breeds or the pit bull breeds, it's with everything. I had like four people hit me up on the DM saying they got scammed, some for like $1,000, some for like $1,500. They bought all the puppy stuff already. I feel bad for those people, but it's a harsh lesson learned, all right? That's what happened to me when I, I didn't lose no money, but that's what I almost lost a lot of money when I was very new to the game and I didn't know a damn thing. So I'm teaching you right now, do all these things before you get a puppy and I highly suggest you buy in-state, all right? That is it for this video. I'm sorry I had to give it to you guys so harsh and so direct, but I see it happening. Let's stop it now. Don't fall for that crap. I will see you guys on the next video. I'm out.